Yo! It's been a while, over a month actually, but I'm back to Melee now, and I wanted to start out by making a shorter video uh, of a concept I've talked about on Twitter, but I haven't talked about it in a way that's like easy to search for. So I decided to just make a video to, you know, make it easier to find so that it's not buried forever. Uh, basically, there's a concept in the Fox Ditto that Toph decided to call the European uh, positioning strat. And basically what it means is, I stole it from Leffen and it's something I really enjoy doing. I think it's very effective, which is at lower percent, say like zero to 40, 50 maybe, playing under here near ledge is in my opinion, a stronger position than playing center stage here. And the only reason for that is uh, shine. If you shine, um, if you shine Fox to the corner, they just get ledge. And it's if they if you play someone who doesn't fast fall to ledge, who can't hit it consistently, it's good. And if you know how to mix it up, so like you you hit the shine um, from a position that's like slightly further away, so they don't go down to ledge immediately. Maybe you can do like shine short of nair. It's decent. It's not amazing, but it's decent. It gives you a mix up that can lead into kill, but. What ends up happening a lot is you end up in a scramble situation near ledge, you don't get the clean running shine, and when you end up in that scramble situation, you will never follow up on the shine, and they will always get ledge. Meanwhile, on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have um, we have the fox, just, uh, what's it called? Uh, 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 see which I put this on, I think it's this one. Yeah, if the other fox that's near ledge gets the shine on you, they get to tech chase you. And normally you can't like really tech chase a uh, full tech away. But the thing is on most stages, it doesn't really matter because once you get here, you can't roll the entire distance. So even if, um, what's it called? Even if they technically can't true tech chase you, if you miss the tech, you're screwed. Um, if you, if you take in place, you're screwed. And if you take roll in, they can also just tech chase you. And if the, if there's not enough stage left to the edge here to get you know all the way like that, then they can also tech chase, take roll away. So they can just confirm of a shine and basically guarantee a grab or an up smash or even a second shine. H hitting a second shine when the fox is in this position is very good. Um, so in my opinion, I think it's stronger to position around ledge here and then trying to hit them like inwards. Like I want to be here at this percent and I want to I wanna be able to hit this down air, get the tech chase and you know like kill them from there. Um, so it's something that I've thought about a lot and I think it's super super good. But I don't see people talking about it. But doing it that way it's just like you're not you're not gonna get screwed by RNG or anything weird. Whereas if if you have them here, it's like they can just grab ledge here. They don't have to tech. If they do nothing, you don't really have anything that's super consistent. Like sometimes you can get the second shine, but again, if they tech, um, it doesn't always like send them off stage. And it's really, really difficult to guarantee you get it before they go to ledge. It's sometimes impossible. Same thing with like double jab, where if they fast fall, I'm pretty sure they can just go what's it called before the double jab in most cases but if you hit them into stage you just say okay cool if they have if they have enough stage to go all the way sure you drop it on tech away but on everything else miss tech tech in place you can just cover it and having that is really powerful i think specifically what ends up happening a lot is that the other fox especially in scrambles, you will miss text on shine because it's not reactable. So if it's not reactable and you're gonna miss text on it, I'd rather be in a spot where missing the tech gives me like the grab into like the follow up, especially because it ends up putting them near ledge in a grab position and having a grab near ledge is really good. Uh, having a shine near ledge isn't always that good, but if I get like a grab here, I'm chilling. I'm like, cool, I'll play the mix up. If I hit this, you just die, you know? Uh, so, I strongly prefer being close to ledge at low percent compared to at higher percents. So that might seem a little backwards, but I think playing around this spacing and trying to play into stage and like, 
it's okay, for example, if they are deciding to camp you in the corner, for example, it's okay to just overshoot them, because even if they, like, hit you out of it, they're probably gonna get a shine, you got ledge, it's okay. Reversing that position doesn't hurt that much for you. Um, so I, I prefer to keep myself somewhat safe, and the way to do that is counterintuitively not to play super center stage. And then, of course, as soon as the, uh, like, nair starts becoming a problem, where you can't, like, a stay down, and you just get hit off stage, or like a backer starts uh, really mattering, then you don't want to play near near ledge. Uh, this is mostly before that point where like they they don't want to hit a near because it does nothing, but they they want to hit the down air into shine and you know that good stuff. So yeah, I think it's preferable to be near ledge. It's something to think about. There are obviously exceptions. This goes mostly in the fox ditto because our shine works, but. I guess technically it can work in other matchups too. It's just much more pronounced in the Fox Ditto. So I hope that, you know, is something to think about. And yeah, that's all I have to say today. Hopefully I'll make videos more frequently. Uh, if you have any suggestions on things you want me to cover, then, you know, please tell me them because I've, uh, I, I don't have a big stash of ideas right now. Um, I want to make a Fox cookbook. So if you have ideas for that, like basic things, like how do I do this specific thing, that would also really help because I, a lot of things just, they're so automatic to me that I don't know how to communicate them or like that they even have to be communicated to a new player. So it'd be really nice to have some suggestions there from you. And that's it. Have a good one. Bye.